get one page now here thought I might should redo one of my very early videos that when I first started YouTube with and I just wasn't very happy with the information I'd given back then and I've actually now a year down I've actually understood a little bit more and I also can do a little bit better video so I thought I might should recreate this video and make it better and add additional information with it and that is for the Dell TB16 dock now I'm also going to give you my experience with the Mac as well and I will also go on to check it out with a Ubuntu laptop as well to see how this reacts with Ubuntu there. Now the reason why I read, want to redo this particular dock is because a year down this dock has been superseded with the WD19TB dock now. So this dock here has now probably more likely come down to the second hand market and it's probably brought down the price in it so it's actually considerable for a lot of budget users as well so i thought i might actually redo this video just for those people there as well let's have a little ports and buttons on this dock here so looking in the front here we have some headphone jack here we have two usb 3.1 gen 1 ports now the left one here is a power share or always on so you can actually charge your usb device without having to have the computer turned on which is good and we have a led light for your status light and up on top here we have a power button to and it should hopefully mirror your power button on your notebook there now if we look on the right hand side we have some exhaust vents here for it to escape some hot air and also a security slot here so that's for your Kensington locks will go in here to actually lock or tie down the dock to something so you don't lose this dock or the computer and then we on the looking on the back here so we have a VGA port we have a HDMI port we have a mini display port and a normal size display port now be wary that the HDMI port and the mini display port they share the same cha video channel so you can only use one of these two you can't use them both together and that's the same with the VGA and the full size display port they say share the same video channel as well so you can't actually use them both together you only can use one or the other and then we have the rj45 ethernet port here and then we've got two usb 2.0 port and then we have a usb 3.1 gen 1 port and then we have a usb c port or usb 3.1 gen 2 port here and then we have the audio out and then we have the ac barrel style where you plug in the power adapter into right here and then if we look on the left hand side again we're going to have more exhaust vents as well and then of course the thunderbolt cable so the length of the thunderbolt cable is 40 centimeters or 18 inches for those i find that personally this is actually quite short and your that book has to be pretty close to the dock itself so i wish they actually did made this thunderbolt cable a lot longer I've got three monitors set up behind me. The center monitor is a 27 inch 4K monitor and now that's connected by display port. My monitor on my right is a 24 inch full HD monitor that's connected by HDMI port. And my monitor on my left here is another 24 inch full HD monitor connected by HDMI port. And you're wondering why I've got two monitors connected by HDMI port, even though the dock only has one HDMI port. And the simple reason is quite simply, I'm running the left monitor here through an adapter which is the DA300 adapter and it goes from HDMI port to a uh, USB-C which I'm actually connecting the USB-C to the Thunderbolt port at the back so I'm actually trying to leverage three ports there remember that the two ports are shared for the display port mini display port and the HDMI port and also the display port and the VGA port and those are the two shared so all I can do is try and get the third monitor to run through the USB-C port or the Thunderbolt port on the back of the dock there I've also got a USB keyboard and mouse connected to the dock and also the Ethernet cable as well that's connected to the dock just to test those ports out as well so let's connect this MacBook Pro to the TB16. Now this is a 13 inch 2018 model of the MacBook Pro and from a previous one it pretty much did not really much work very well for it so the display I can now see it's connected I don't even get a light on there and I can definitely see it's charging the, the MacBook Pro which is fantastic there but I'm not getting any ethernet there so it hasn't really come up and again no keyboard and mouse there so it's a bit of a fail there for the MacBook Pro and the TB 
16 and I do have the monitors plugged in and it hasn't been any better there. I've tried one and two, all the different types of configurations with the MacBook Pro and TB16 and it really doesn't display any external. So if you go MacBook Pro, no go for that. I've got a Dell Latitude 5401 with Ubuntu 18.04 LTS version installed on it and let's connect it to the TB16 dock now. So if you connect a Thunderbolt device to a computer, Thunderbolt port, it will ask you for authorization if you've got the Thunderbolt security turned on. As you can see here, it is asking me to enroll this Thunderbolt port. Now you need to put, just put in your administrator password in there. At the moment, I am going to authenticate now. I'm just going to cancel this to show you what happens if you forget this process and that you find that your displays are working but your USBs are not working. That's a good telltale sign that your security has not been set for the Thunderbolt and it's waiting for you to authorize that. Now to actually find that out, all you need to do is go to the settings file. So just go type in to settings. So I'll just do the long way and find settings. And it will more than likely go back to the settings if you're in a different one. You go to devices and go to Thunderbolt and you'll see it is under pending devices here and it is connected so it sees the cable and the dock it's unfortunately it's just two hardware there but it is actually the TB16 right here so what you need to do is just select it and click on authorize and connect and it will ask you for your admin password and I'll just put a simple one here so I'm just going to authorize that now and you will see it will now jump down to here as an authorize device here and you will start seeing it start to work there so I'm going to just authorize the other one there and it's already knows my password there ready from the previous one and so now it's both an authorize and that's really all you need to do once they're authorized it means they'll start working properly there now you can actually in other ways just to disable Thunderbolt through the BIOS on your computer so now that we're authorized the dock itself, we actually have USB moving there. So it's kind of good. So I actually can now use the USB there, which is fantastic. So that's a USB mouse and I can should be able to type things in, which is good. So that's good, but I'm only getting one screen there. So what I might quickly do is I'm just gonna quickly reboot the computer and hopefully that might kickstart the dock properly. I can definitely see the 27 inch monitor is firing up, which is fantastic. And we're just going to have to go to system files and we've got there okay so now we've got these screens now i've got set a one three and two i'm just going to quickly put them in easy e order so i can tell what is what just so we can see so i'm just going to apply that so at least i know now we've got two external screens working the third monitor hasn't really fired up there which is a bit of interesting there so I'm going to keep changes and just to show you it's actually in extended mode. I'm just going to move this screen across so you can actually see it's in extended mode there, which is good. So we've got two external screen and we haven't got the third screen popping up there. What I'm going to do quickly just to see if I'm going to close the lid down and just quickly see that if that will fire up the third screen or if it will still work in two monitors set up there. So we'll work with two monitors with the built-in screen closed down. So that's a good there so that's just the lid now third monitor has not fired up at all so i'm going to actually just quickly firstly tell you i'm just going to bring this up again uh, that we definitely have network i can definitely see that we've got network going so the ethernet is working and i've got of course the two usb as well so definitely nice to see the ethernet is running there i can definitely see it's connected there which is good there so i'm going to try and actually what i'm going to do is unplug one of these monitors which is this monitor here so that is the hdmi port okay so i'm just going to unplug that hdmi port and we'll just hopefully see if we can fire up this other monitor through the usb c port here so nothing there. I'm going to unplug and replug back that one back in. It's quite figury, I have to must agree. So let's have a look, see what we can get. Can we get that monitor? Okay, now we've unplugged and we have fired up this monitor here. Now this monitor is running the HDMI port with uh, adapter here, which is the WD, sorry, the DA300 
adapter. So that's the HMI port into the DA and it goes to a USB-C, which is the Thunderbolt port at the back there. So that's firing that up. So I'm getting those two monitors running there. I'm just gonna close the lid and see if I can get that one monitor in running. And yep, so that mode will work as well. So I'm gonna quickly connect the HDMI port back into the back here. See if we can just fire up this third monitor if possible. It will be interesting if we can or not, but let's have a look anyway. We'll have to try. And for those who actually want to see if that will work with this, that's the other way around. So that's working there. That's great there if you can see that. So I'm going to have a quick look if we can get that monitor up. No. Nope. So I'm going to quickly just unplug and replug it back in. Maybe we might get the third monitor running. We never know. All right, I've got one, got two, definitely. And I've just got settings. And what do we got? It still sees a one. Where is the number one? I guess number one is this monitor here. Let's move this over here. All right, I'm just gonna move this over here. Let me close this one down. I'm just gonna try this one out one more time to see if I can get this monitor set up going here. So I'm just gonna unplug that and replug it back in with all three connected there. It may not work, but hey, we have to try, isn't it? What do we get? Let's try and start up. Okay, got one. We're down to one monitor again. Now, this is very figury, as you can see. Might have unplug and replug it back in. And maybe you might actually grab the second monitor working again or third monitor would be great, but I doubt so far with three monitors set up here. Very figury, I can say. So it's one of those things that will work and not work, and I'm not sure if it's gonna be reliable really for it saying all the time with two external screen. I can definitely hear that fire up, which is kind of good there. So I've got three external screen. Now I really can't really get the three external screen working there. So what I want to also test out is the power button here. So does it mirror your power button? Yes, it does. So I can definitely see that's off. I'm just gonna turn this off as well. And we're going to see if it will mirror your power button from the deads. We're going to see if we can boot up the laptop with the power button on the dock itself. And yes, it does. So it does turn it on and that's a Ubuntu computer there. So it is doing through the firmware there through the BIOS to tell it to turn on, which is good there. So it is mirroring the power button on your laptop here. It is a Dell product there, so it does do all right there, I have to say. From my experiments of plugging different configurations into the TB16 dock, I am unable to get triple monitor setup working. So if you are looking for a triple monitor setup for any operating system, the TB16 dock is definitely not for you. But if you're doing only dual monitors, if you're using Windows or Ubuntu, this dock will be able to work for that. For as for Macs, just stay away from this dock completely. Now, if you find this video informative, enjoyed it, give it a like. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom of the screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.